Now, we are done with the theory part. Let's get into some questions. The first one here, it says, write the following sets in the roster form. We have been given this into set builder format and we have to write them into roster form. The first one here, it says, we have a set called D where elements T are in the format of TQ equals to T where T is a real number. Now, it says TQ is equal to T and T it's a real number. Now, if I take T as say 0, TQ would be 0 cube means 0. If I take T as say 1, TQ would be 1 cube means 1. If I take T as negative 1, my TQ would be negative Q. Negative 1 cube means negative 1. Now, in these three situations where T was 0, TQ was 0, T was 1, TQ was 1, T was negative 1, TQ was also negative 1. Other than this, if I try to take T as say 2, TQ would be 2 cube means 8 here, T and TQ, they are equal, but I have to keep TQ equals to T. In that case, I have only three elements and they would be 0, 1 and negative 1. This one here it says we have a set called E where elements are W and they are, let's solve this, this gives me, so here element for this set would be negative 11 over Third one here, it says, we have a set called F where elements are X and they are real numbers and they are in the format of X to the power 4 minus 5 squared plus 6 equals to 0. It says X4 minus 5X raised to 2 plus 6 equals to 0. Let's try to factorize this. If I take x squared as common here, it gives me x squared minus 3. If I take 2 as common, it gives me x squared minus 3 equals to 0. So this gives me x squared minus 3, x squared minus 2 equals to 0. Now I have x squared minus 3 equals to 0 and I have x squared minus 2 equals to 0. So this will be x squared equal to 3 means x equals to root 3 and this is x squared equals to 2 when x is equal to root 2. So my element can be root 3, negative root 3, root 2 and negative root 2. These four can be elements for this set here. Alright, 